civil society should not remain indifferent to human rights violations in the Azerbaijani army. This was a late motive of today's round table in the Office of the Azerbaijan National Committee of the Helsinki Civil Assembly. The debate was organized by the Public Association of Officers in Reserve. According to the head of the National Committee, Azur Abdullayeva, the army still have losses in combat conditions and the violation of order in the army. The head of the Union of Officers and Reserve, Yashai Jafarla, added to these problems corruption, non transparent vendors, and the contradiction between the Minister of Defense and General Headquarters. However, the situation in human rights sphere causes more concern because it often has tragic consequences. According to Jafarla, from the announcement of the ceasefires since 1994 up to now, the losses in Azerbaijan's armed forces amounted to approximately 3,500 people. Thus, since 2000, so according to the military journalism research center doctrine, and your losses are about 65, 70 people, only 10, 15 percent of them are the combat losses. Very often, soldiers lost their lives in incidents stemming from violation of charter. Father of a soldier, Jehun Maharamov, who went missing on October 25, 2010, said that his son was conscripted from Gabala region and served in the Goranboy region at the foot of Morovdal Mountain. Military prosecutor's office accused him of desertion, alleging that he felt captured in weapons. But colleges say Jehum Maharamov disappeared after a conflict with the post of junior officer. Parents suspect that their son did not play and something happened to him and the command conceals it. Citizen Ayman Ahmedli said that his disabled son was drafted despite he was found unfit for service. Thus, Shahriar Ahmad Lehu received disability status because of poor eyesight and cranial trauma, was drafted in January of this year and sent to Bailagan region. A month later, he was hospitalized and spent there two months. Physicians admit that soldiers had serious problems but not exempt him from the service, referring to orders from above. Based on the results of discussions, it was decided to send official apples to the military prosecutor's office and other agencies due to these facts. In addition, a monitoring group with the participation of the activists of civil society led by military expert Ildrin Mamedov was created to control human rights situation in the army.